Hello to my Capricorns. Hello to my Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, this second part of your reading. We're going to try to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> we always say that, right? Short and sweet, right? <laughs> For real, this time. We're going to try to keep it We're going to try to keep it short. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, Capricorns. Hopefully you all are having a um, great weekend when you watch this video and preparing for an even better week, right? So your um for those of you all who are on the Patreon side, your full prediction, um, your full moon prediction video is already filmed. It's just an acute waiting to go live. And um, if you want any bonus videos, let me know. Just send me a text message about like kind of what you want to focus on, you know, like what you want to address. If it, if it's not something too personal that you think it'll help other people so we can talk about it in the car, we can just pull the cards because people will have to be on that frequency and take only what resonates with them, right? So just like your general reading, take only what resonates with you, okay? Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I see somebody, a part of a team, a part of a team. Somebody could have been a part of a team that left them uncovered, naked and uncovered. You know, um, that could have been on a job where you work, where you just like you didn't find out. You thought you were part of a team on a job because I saw that card pop out three of pentacles, which connects us with um, teamwork. Right. A team that could have ended up being a nightmare um, for you that put you in a wilderness situation, according to that previous reading. So nothing is about coincidence. That card was face up as I was shuffling the cards. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Here we have High Priestess. Here we have Judgment. Here we have the Fool card. Um, we have also the Star card and then also the Ten of Wands. So it looks like somebody's going to be helping you to rebuild. It looks like somebody's going to be helping you to rebuild. Here we have High Priestess energy, right? So High Priestess energy, you, this is a gift that you have, right? And so um, here's a Judgment card. <clears throat> Um, somebody, people could have been judging you based on your downloads, you know, your intuition, right? Being able to weigh the pros and cons. Remember, everybody has the gift of intuition, but some people like sharpen it. Everybody sharpens their gifts differently, right? Some people have a dream. They wake up, they're like, okay, I saw a red horse pop locking and, and moonwalking. Okay. That's what this means. But some people have to write it down and say, okay, I'm going to have to come back to that because I got more pressing things going on right now. And when I have my downtime after work or after my day has ended, then I'll go online and, and you know, do a little research on dream interpretation or whatever. Whatever works best for you to get to whatever you need to get to the answer for you, don't worry about how other people get to their conclude, draw their conclusion. Focus on how you draw yours, okay? That's it. I mean, don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. But somebody's going to be helping you to leave behind a bunch of distractions. You know, somebody's going to help you to leave behind a lot of distractions. And um, you may even be getting a dog. You may be even getting a dog. You know, somebody that you feel like, okay, is loyal. You know, um, you know, dog. That, that could be like a new family member, right? We all, anybody pet moms and dogs everybody know that's family right that's, that's family right so you cooking for them like you know the way that they make uh meals for you know pets now you might as well just you know put a put a um you know put a bib on your pets and, and, and prop them up in a, in a high chair at the table because they little humans right so anyway but somebody's gonna be helping you to move on you know from you know from just like the depth of emotion when it comes to being connected to energies that were trying to limit your abundance and your prosperity in the way that you think right so yeah and teach you how to you know continue to be hopeful optimistic um and, and just start learn, really learn how to believe in your purpose, right? And helping you to rebuild. Here's the ten of um ten of wands here. Just really helping you to rebuild, right? So this star card just means hope, optimism, optimism, and um, bliss, right? So I feel like somebody's moving on to just kind of getting settled into just a different way of thinking, getting all the swords out of your back, learning how to empower yourself, learning how to rebuild, restructure, just the way you think all together, right? And just learning how to believe and just like, not just the material, because the high priest would be just like the material side of things, 
but the high priestess would be the other part of all of us, right? The material would be our physical body, right? The physical existence of us, not just being able to see it, it, believing it after you see something, but believing in something before you see it manifest, right? So that would be like this part, your intuition, you having all these dreams and downloads, and it's really helpful, it's really, really helpful when you're talking about, you know, just that spirit of source inside of you, helping you to retrain the way that you think, you know, especially people saying, well, if you don't do it this way, it's going to fail and all of that. So you, somebody learning how to move on from just that, just, just all the distractions that that brings. So yeah, learning how to, um, learning how to take care of yourself. That's what somebody learning how to do. So it could be you and a spouse. It could be you and a sibling. It could be you and somebody like y'all learn how to take care of yourselves, you know, just like getting away from a certain, you know, way of thinking. Here's a star card. Yeah, because there's more than one star in the sky, right? More than one star in the sky, right? So you see this right here. Everybody has a sun sign. The sun is a star, right? So everybody has a star, I mean, a sun slash star sign. And so everybody learns the way that they learn in terms of your spiritual gifts. You don't want to be away from energies that don't give you a chance to process your downloads. You don't want to be around those types of energies. Basically, they're taking away the right. They're taking away your power. They're taking away your intellect for you to be able to think for yourself. And it's rushing you. So, we, so now you're asking everybody who questions you. I mean, do you think I can think for myself? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm not smart enough? Do you, you're questioning people who are really trying to give you an opportunity to think for yourself and process your thoughts because you're always on edge when you're around people who are constantly basically blow torching you in your back. You know, not giving you an opportunity to think for you. Oh, child. Mm, mm, mm. So anyway, we have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands. We have the Hangman, the Four of Swords, the Temperance card, and also the Two of Pentacles, right? So here we have the Eight of Cups here. Oops. So your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Somebody has tossed something into a burning bowl. Um, probably, may possibly start about fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It might be like kind of trying to control your spirit because fire connects, well, wands energy connects us with fire, which connects us with spirituality and action. So, so yeah, it just takes away your ability to think for yourself. And so somebody is, um, not only do you have a, a guardian angel watching over you, that's helping you to get away from other people judging you or, um, you know, just like getting delivered from other people's judgment as you're trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses yourself. So somebody is emptying themselves of allowing themselves to be judged by energies that really, I mean, in the big scheme of things, what, I mean, what, what gives them the right to judge you? So I feel like somebody's finally moving on from something and finally getting some rest. That's what I'm seeing here, your cards. Here we have the five of wands here. So as you're rebuilding, there are going to be energies that's going to try to reach out to you, but it's always a bait and switch with them. Until you learn that, um, until you learn how to just say, okay, I need to just cut the air supply. Like I just need to cut the air supply so I can move on. I, I can just, just move on with my life. Here we have the two of pentacles here. And so, and I need to get away from people who are, um, trying to keep up with the Joneses in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm trying. They're trying to keep up. Somehow, y'all know the term, keeping up with the Joneses. They're trying to keep up with the Joneses. I need to, like, my head and heart don't need to be at war with each other as it relates to certain people, places, and things. So whatever you need to do to move on from whomever you're moving on from, Capricorn, hey, listen, it's all love. I'm serious. It really is all love when you start thinking about your love language. It's your love language. That's all that matters is you learning your love language, both in your personal and your professional life. You have to decide who you want to join forces with and who you don't. That's what it, that's really, that's the adult part of it in a very mature and authoritative way. I don't want to join forces with energies that, you know, you're not looking for robot robots. Um, I don't want to join forces with any energies that I, um, are not trying to help me up at my lowest. They don't, don't treat me like a human being unless, you know, unless, like I said, unless people are, you know, you're carrying their same spirit of struggle that, um, what is it, um, survival mode type of, um, 
you know, spirit, right? So do, do you know, bottom line is that you'll do what works best for you. That's all that matters. Really, that's all that matters is you're going to do what works best for you. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Here's the page of pentacles here. Yeah. So it's just trying to help you balance some things out. Here's the six of swords here. So you won't be the first person who has moved on from disappointment when it comes to some energies in order to get some rest. You won't be the first and you won't be the last. But one thing for certain is that you're breaking a generational cycle chain and curse that you're not staying connected to, you're not carrying other people's burdens and their bitterness based on just like they're carrying other people's thought process. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... You're getting away from that just to get some rest. So it's you and somebody that's felt like, you know, you don't need to carry that burden, other people's burdens, and pass that down from generation to generation to generation. You don't have to carry that same spirit down from generation to generation to generation. All right? So, you know, every now and then, like I said, it'll feel like a bait and switch, you know, in your spirit. People may try to reach out, you know, to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But again, eventually, somebody will make a decision, a firm decision to say... I need to just go ahead and cut something off. In order for you to make a turning point, you need to cut some things off. Right? So somebody could be kind of in process mode right now um, of how you're proceeding moving forward. But I see you moving forward in childlike faith. And that's what, that's, again, anybody who loves you is going to give you an opportunity to make your own decisions. It's just that simple. It really is. Nobody should be trying to control anybody. They should be trying to control their own thought process, how they think about themselves and focusing on how they break in their own generational cycles, chains, and curses. I mean, we got five planets as retrograde right now as of September 1st. Uranus, the full card, went retrograde. So if you are embarking on a whole new journey, right? And um, anybody that's trying to control the way you think about how you want to create your legacy wealth, hey, then they don't need to be a part of it. It doesn't matter who it is. So that's what I'm saying here. That is what I'm saying. If somebody's going to feel like they have a um, new, you feel like you have a whole new lease on life, a whole new lease on life. Nobody has control over anybody on this planet, right? So you're creating your own legacy. That's what you're doing. You're learning how to create your own legacy and not carry other people's spirit of burden and bitterness on your shoulders. You're not doing that anymore. You work too hard you know, for your hardworking person, somebody is, um, you're focusing on financial independence right now. And that's going to be a requirement for somebody is that whoever you align yourself with, they also have to be financially independent. It can't be no, this, you know, you're looking for a, if you're looking to build a legacy, you're looking for a help mate, not a hurt mate. Like somebody who is hurting your financial situation or your material possession, somebody who is hurting that because they're carrying some kind of bitterness or burden on their shoulder, right? You're not looking for somebody to overgive to you. You want balance. So you're not a, you don't come across as an opportunist or a taker because I've been giving so much to everybody else. It's about time I sit back and receive, receive, receive from a good person who is like, okay, they're looking for somebody who is just as whole and complete as they are. So source is saying you're forgiving some energies, you're moving on from some energies, and you're just rebuilding, like you're restructuring just how you think, and you're moving forward in childlike faith. So you do have ancestors that's like handing you water, like they're passing down, um, they're helping you to strengthen your high priestess gifts. I'm talking to men and women, um, Capricorn. Yeah. Helping you to get to your throne of just being more compassionate towards yourself and compassionate towards other people. Because that's really the real wealth, is healthy relationships with other human beings. That's That cracks the code right there. You can be a person that just, just like, think about it, like, logically think about it. Takers, they don't really care about what they take from people. You can give and give and give to a taker, and you just can't give enough. They don't care about how it makes you feel. They don't care about how it makes other people feel. They just take and take and take material possessions. You can get them a house, a car. You can get them a, a, st a stack of money. They'll run through the money because, again, they're wearing a mask. They're trying to keep up some kind of an appearance. And if you were to cry to them and tell them, wait, wait a minute, I, you just put me in debt, you know. Well, I mean, who told you to go in debt, <laughs> you know. They just, they, they just cold and callous. It's like, what? 
are you for real? So anyway, so source is just saying to you, you know, you're just moving on from those types of energies altogether. It's just like they, they, they can't let, they can't let you rest because they holding on to so much, so much burden and bitterness as it relates to other people that they feel like have life a little bit too easy. They just, like I said, master manipulator sharks. So yeah. So you, like I said, you have a guardian angel that's watching over you, protecting you. Helping you to get ready to start traveling. There's it. It's two of wands. You, ready, you guys see you're ready to start traveling. And so right now, somebody could be increasing their prayer life and their meditation life and just seeing yourself getting going to the airport, getting on a plane, going somewhere and enjoying your life. You know, just having a having a great time somewhere. Getting away from those hurt energies and the judgmental spirits. Yeah. Getting away from those judgmental spirits that's trying to empty you of feeling like life is just too easy. You're in some kind of dream state. You know, anybody who is high priestess energy is crazy because intuition. But see, these same energies won't say that to you if you told them, I feel like a number of hits and they hit for $100,000. All of a sudden, you be put up in a glass cage like the golden child. You know how the golden child was sitting up in that, um, that, that cage? For those of you all who remember the movie. But anyway, it put you in some kind of, because now you did lucky charm. Like I said, you would have joined their circus. Like you just, you know, stick a quarter in you. Okay, tell me my future. You know, like you're part of a circus, right? Like you're a circus act as long as it benefits certain people. People who love you don't want anything from you except for you to learn their love language. Whatever the love language is, right? So, but anyway, that's what I'm saying for you. That's what I'm saying for you. So somebody's going to feel like they have a whole new lease on life moving towards financial independence. But the sacrifice is that you're going to have to cut some people off. That's the sacrifice. You're going to have to cut some people off. Not any of this bait and switch. Okay, I'm not talking to them. I'm only talking to them every now and then. They're going to have to be cut off, completely cut off. Because they won't let you rest because of whatever issues they have. Remember, there's more than one star in the sky. You got star came out three times. Everybody could have a place in your life, but some people don't want other people to have a place in your life whatsoever. All they want is for them to be the only star in your eye. Something is very wrong with that because it just, again, trying to control the way you think. So you're getting away from those types of energies altogether. Though the same energies will tell everybody that you have a temper. Because you're trying to express yourself. They'll tell you that you have a temper, you know, you're angry, you hostile, you this and that. Just because you want to think for yourself. Here we have this right here. So you're going to feel incredibly, um, like I said, somebody has a guardian angel that's watching over you. And um, someone else helping you all to kind of sort of rebuild. Like helping you all to rebuild. So this is a good thing. Good thing, good thing, good thing. So yeah, here we have the temperance card and the wheel of fortune. Help you just leave that a certain belief system behind being around wolves and sheep's clothing. See these two wolves right here howling at the moon? That's why I keep telling you all, like, this full moon is no joke. And we, guess what? We're going to have a full moon in Pisces. Right? We're going to have a full moon in Pisces. This, this cycle on the 17th of September, in case somebody want to mark their calendars, we're going to have a full super moon in Pisces. And so... These being around types of wolves and sheep's clothing, they are they will force you to go into escapism because they're always overwhelming, like trying to keep people levels below them because they want to be the only star in your life versus, you know, what you got other people, you know, in your life that you want to give some attention and energy to. That's okay, too. Again, long as things are not crossing over other people's boundaries, everybody should have boundaries. Everybody should enforce them. So, yeah. I see you leaving people behind that try to keep people have try to keep you levels below them by telling them that you're they're older than you are or you know they could be a year older than you are they could be you know constantly trying to put themselves in a higher level position than you and some as if you don't matter you you're cutting them people off yep I see you making it to your throne it could be a Leo involved you're talking about this lion right here somebody just people keeping your survival mode. So I definitely see you have prayed your way to getting on your throne and starting to kind of sort of take control of just the way you think, your own spirit, you know, those kind of things. And so energies, they want you back in this where they can control you. I'm a, I'm a six months older than you are. I'm a year older than you are. My family has more money. It's always a, com a competition and some kind of comparison to where you always end up feeling like you're getting the short end of the stick. Who wants to be around those kind of energies, right? Here we have high priestess. 
So, yeah, here we also have the five of cups. They always comparing, you know, like every time you think back in your mind, they're comparing their gifts to somebody else's gifts. So if you have priestess and they have priestess, they're comparing your high priestess gifts to theirs instead of trying to enhance and help you. Everybody who has everybody, everybody is a high priestess. Everybody is a high priestess. I can't say that enough. Everybody is a high priestess. They're looking at it from a title standpoint, but high priestess energy means your intuition and you having access to the unknown. So, and it comes down through your dreams. You have a feeling about things. You have all the clairs, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience, clairaudience, or one or some of them, some of those gifts. You have deja vu, premonition, precognition. All of those are gifts, right? And so you learn however you learn. But when people come in, well, I mean, I'm a better, I, I mean, like, If you, for instance, if you read cards, right, people read cards however they want to read cards, however they want to read cards, right? Some people channel energy. Some people read cards a traditional tarot card way, right? However you read is however you read. The messages are coming through, but some people will say, you know, um, oh, uh, you got the six of swords. They will literally have a book right there. And I understand when people are learning, they, but they, it's a sources, put sources, Source is putting together a story for a reader to share with whomever. And so that's where the confidence comes in. But if people are constantly telling you, oh, you having a dream. No, that's not what the dream means. Give people the freedom to learn how they learn. Yeah, there's a baseline. There's a book that comes with tarot card. Let's just say it's tarot card reading. But whatever it is. Um, let's say you want to help people with their Akashic records. Yeah, there's plenty of books out here that can teach you about Akashic records, what it means and this kind of stuff. Well, you can create your own, you know, guided meditation video to help people to access their Akashic records or your spiritual journey or whatever. But when it gets into that, like that same mindset, my church, mosque or temple is better than where you go. It almost, it, it feels like you're on opposing teams with somebody. Could you imagine you growing up in a particular church, a mosque, a temple, and somebody is telling you that even if it's the same if, if it's structured the same, like order of mass, if it's Catholicism, or if it's like the order of service, if it's some of the other, uh, other religious, if it's some of the other like religious belief systems or whatever, and somebody says, hey, you know, this past Sunday or Saturday, if it's, you know, SDA or whatever, somebody says this uh, Saturday or Sunday, you know, oh, our church, it's always a competition. Our church or whatever, we, um, our pastor came through in a zip line and they came from out of the sky. They had a white robe and a zip line and oh my God, the liturgical dances did all this and that. Or let's say somebody says, well, that my, our choir sings better than you. It just takes away from the, the humanity. It takes away from, it's just so much friction and chaos. But imagine being married to somebody like that or dating somebody who's talking about your family all the time, how you were raised versus how they were raised. And then they just tip over the disrespectful line, just, just doing all. So it's just saying you don't want to be in relationship with anybody that sees you or sees you as the opposition all the time. It's always a fight. It's always a battle for something because that is what that's a, they have opposition within. That's what it is. They are they oppose they their spirit is just like so out of sync. And it's like your light irritates their demons. And so source is saying to you, when you look back at certain things, you're just like, mm mm. Let me put a manhole cover over this. Let me just put a manhole. I'm just I'm just it's just exhausting. It's draining. It really robs people of a quality of life. So I see somebody finally just going through and saying, I'm just putting a manhole cover. I don't like the way it just bring, it just brings me to a dark space. It just It's emotionally draining when you think about certain things. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So I definitely feel like, you know, you and somebody are very hardworking energies. Like I said, you're very hardworking, right? And so um, that's what's going to help some things flow to you a lot easier is the sea goat part. Like getting through the sea of emotions. And then as you're starting to process your emotions, starting to realize, why am I in survival mode again? I'm a hardworking person. I'm a good person. I'm smart. 
But every time I somebody else to try to see me as opposition in any of my relationships, where it's just always just constant, like it's like sticks rubbing together, starting a fire. I don't want to. I don't want to see people as my opposition that I love. So that's how you move on. That's how you move on. Somebody's going to get tired of stop arguing with their sister, their brother. Somebody's going to get tired of arguing with you know whoever you grew up with, where y'all used to be real close. Somebody's just tired. it's just exhausting. <laughs> it's just exhausting. You feel like you just want to take a nap. For real, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting. So anyway, let's go ahead and close it out. So like I said, do what works best for you, and watch how things turn out for you. You're going to start seeing your money. You're going to start seeing your money situation change. Things are just going to start flowing to you differently. This is going to be a whole different kind of flow. Let's see. Um, let's get a few more cards, and we're gonna go ahead and close it out. But yeah, it, it it just does not. It doesn't feel good when you're in opposition with somebody that you say that you love. It just doesn't feel good. It's just draining because they're trying to control. Them. As if you can't think for yourself. Cut them off and move on. Plenty of people have not only survived, they have thrived after come out and coming out of relationships. But they just feel like it's always just opposition. So, yeah, so I see you rebuilding something. So here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has, you know, somebody is planting some new seeds and thinking about multiple streams of income. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of a new partnership is being formed here. Um, again, here we have the Page of Wands. And somebody's just tired of being roasted. See this, like, being roasted by immature spirits. Tired of being teased and roasted. Y'all know what I'm saying by roasted, like those shows where they have, like, the celebrities being roasted. Somebody's just tired of being teased and roasted about something like or your family being roasted and so and that's a very immature energy so source is saying you're going to feel free of that and feel liberated from all of that just just getting away from just all of that so good for you good for you good for you good for you here we have the princess of pentacles here so talking to men and women just a softer life for you and, and focusing on your healing focusing on your healing Somebody's a very powerful healer too, but yeah, you're focusing on your healing and, and developing your gifts in ways that you feel like is safest for you. You don't when you're trying to develop your high priestess gifts, meaning your intuition and listen, you do not need to be around people who are gonna call you crazy. You don't need cause you because you're not developing your gifts the way they develop their gifts. Like they wrote one book and that's the only way you can develop your high priestess gifts. Like what? So yeah. Yeah, so if they if they wrote a book, then sell a book. You know, whoever's on that frequency will buy it. If they feel like their way is the only way, then hey, then people will buy it. You know, that's the that's the smart thing to do. If you feel like you have all the answers to something, that's why that's how people create products, goods, and services. They say, I feel like I got something good I want to share with the collective community. Let me create a good product or service. And let's see how that goes. But when people are trying to control you, they're basically trying to put a dark spell on you, telling you the way you developing your gifts is wrong because they develop their gifts a certain way. Because somebody told them this way. Yeah, so anyway, you spend spending less time. But be patient. The answers are coming. Somebody wants the best for you. Relax. Much better lies ahead. Somebody's in a crisis right now. So it's time to get some fresh air. You made a positive impact on some people. You're dealing with a succubus energy. Somebody could have been dealing with a female sex demon. Um, you deserve the best. Um, and so document your dreams day and night. But I see you closing out cycles in love and just tossing all that into a burning bowl. Heart chakra cleanse. And so somebody secretly has a crush on you. You're not interested in any secret crushes. That's the problem now. Too many secrets. Here we have check your request list again of like whatever it is that you're requesting. But their plan to disrupt your money backfire. Treat yourselves to a spa day. Your ancestors are very, very proud of you and trust your first mind. And so the answers you seek are coming. Yeah. Yeah, the answers that you seek are coming. Your first mind. If you if your first mind was like, yeah, this this energy, they just they combative. They seem they treat me as like I'm just like I'm nothing, you know. And you you gotta find yourself calling somebody out of their name. That's your first mind. That's your like, okay, I don't want to believe this about somebody, but this is who they are. Even if you weren't raised like that, it makes you feel bad that you would even have to think that about somebody. So it's just saying you're gonna start going with your first mind and getting the heck away from those types of energies. So source is emptying you of just this, I got to I gotta invest more time so people can put me under darker spells. Somebody's learning how to say, I need to get the heck away from energies that are, 
you know, who like to roast people and, you know, put put dark spells on people that way by talking negative, like opposing, always in competition. I need to get away from those energies. So there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Because they're ruthless. They don't care how you feel. You could be depressed, you know, just don't want to get out of the bed and they still comparing you to somebody else. Just, I mean, like... Anyway, here we have true offering. So true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. That's right. You forgiving whoever for whatever and just moving on with your life. Moving on with your life. Strength. All obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. And that's it. Improvement is your only concern. You haven't failed at anything. You're learning lessons. You're learning lessons. You're learning your own love language, Capricorns. That's what you're learning, your own love language. You can apply it in your personal and your professional life, right? You're going through a lot of major changes in your life and learning how to um, create. So that's the frequency that you're on, a creative frequency. That's right. You're trying to create the life that you know that you deserve. You're on a creative frequency. And that, thinking about, think about creativity this way. Like if you're trying to create room for something, at first it looks like chaotic. It looks chaotic and confusing. Like if you're driving through, uh, uh, driving through a um, a neighborhood and you come up on people trying to build new houses. At first it looks chaotic and confusing until you see a blueprint, right? So that's where the structure comes in and the authoritative energy comes in, right? The structure. You all are um, you all are um, creating new legacies. You're creating a new legacy for yourself. And if you decide to have a family, that you do for them too. You're creating new legacy. And some people just don't give you a chance to create a legacy for yourself. They don't they don't give you a chance to see that you're a hardworking person, that you um that you're trying to create a legacy, that you want to allow your allow, that work for some of you all actually is an outlet. You like working, you know? And so you don't want to be around people who are working because they so you know they're they are you know like i said trying to keep up with a particular lifestyle you like to work you're a working sign you like you all like to work so you, you're working not because you're trying to pay off everybody else's bills you just like hey this is that's for some people it's just relaxing <laughs> if you love your job it can it can easily become like a you know just like kind of a go-to kind of thing but you know when to push back so yeah some people are working because they have to you know, they have to maintain a certain image. That's not the frequency that you want to be on. You want to be on a creative frequency. So 55, I am evolving. So substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change. I need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Yep. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next video. All right. Make it an amazing week. Make it an amazing week. Don't forget to set your intentions. Um, but you will definitely be leaving behind wolves and sheep's clothing and people who like to roast you based on how you think and your spiritual beliefs. And, you know, they, you don't want to be in opposition with people that you say that you love. That's just, it just doesn't give you room to create the life that you want to create for yourself. So, um, and like I said, anybody who genuinely loves you will be okay with whatever decision that you make and genuinely be okay with it. All right, here we go. Flower crown, number 12. Wear your power proudly and unapologetically for it is your birthright. And it is eternal like the soul. Yeah, you're coming out of a wilderness or wilderness situations with the flower crown. You've earned that crown on top of your head. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.